Do you ever feel like your stomach's about to pop after a meal? You're not alone. Lots of us deal with bloating and it's such a pain. But what actually makes our bellies blow up like a balloon? Stick around because we're about to break down the top 10 things that could be puffing you up. It's stuff we do and eat every day without even thinking about it. Ready to find out more? Let's get to it and see how we can beat the bloat together. Number 10. High Fiber Heroes or Troublemakers so, you've just munched on a big bowl of your favorite fiber pack cereal, feeling pretty proud of yourself, right? But then, your stomach starts rumbling like a thunderstorm. What's up with that? Turns out, while fiber is super good for your digestion, it can also be a bit of a troublemaker when it comes to gas. Foods like beans, broccoli, and whole grains are heroes for your gut health, but they can also produce a lot of gas because they're full of complex sugars called oligosaccharides. These sugars are tough for our bodies to break down completely. When they reach your colon, the bacteria there have a feast, fermenting these sugars, and, you guessed it, producing gas. If you're feeling brave and want to keep these fiber-rich foods in your diet, maybe introduce them slowly. Your gut will have more time to get used to them, and you'll be less likely to turn into a human balloon. Number 9. Dairy Dilemmas Ever had a glass of milk or a scoop of ice cream and felt like your stomach instantly turned into a gas factory? You're not alone. This bloating bandit could be lactose, a sugar found in dairy products that many people struggle to digest fully. When lactose doesn't break down in your digestive system, it passes into the colon where it becomes a full-blown party for the bacteria living there. They digest it and produce gases like hydrogen and methane, which can lead to that bloated feeling. If dairy products make you feel like you need to unbutton your jeans, you might be lactose intolerant. Don't worry though, there are plenty of lactose-free options these days that taste just as good. Switching to these can help you enjoy your shakes and pizzas without the post-meal puffiness. Remember, it's all about finding what works for your belly without having to give up the creamy goodness of dairy. Number 8. The Lowdown on Fatty Foods Ever noticed how after a big greasy burger or a thick slice of pizza, you feel like you're carrying a rock in your belly? That's because fatty foods can be real slow pokes when it comes to digestion. Fat takes its time to break down in the stomach, which means all that food hangs out longer in your gut. This delay gives the food more time to ferment, and yep, that means more gas and a bigger bloat. So if your belly often feels like it's in a tub of war after a fatty feast, it might be a good idea to cut down on the grease. Opting for grilled instead of fried or choosing lean cuts of meat can make a big difference. Your stomach will thank you for not making it run a marathon every meal. Number 7. Artificial Sweeteners Sneaky Effects Okay, let's talk about those sugar-free gums and diet sodas. They seem like a smart swap when you want to cut down on sugar, but your stomach might not be a fan. Why? Many of these products contain artificial sweeteners like sorbitol, mannitol, and xylitol, which are tough for us to digest. When they reach the intestines undigested, they act like a dinner invitation to the bacteria in your gut. The result? Those bacteria produce gas as they munch on these sweeteners. So, while you might be cutting calories, you're potentially serving up a side of bloating and gas. If you're noticing a pattern of puffiness after popping a piece of sugar-free gum or sipping a diet drink, you might want to reconsider your choices. Maybe natural sweeteners or just plain water could be better buddies for your belly. Number 6. Carbonated Culprits Ever crack open a fizzy drink and gulp it down only to feel like you've swallowed a balloon? That's because all those bubbles in carbonated drinks are actually pockets of carbon dioxide, a gas that can get trapped in your stomach. When you chug a soda or sparkling water, you're not just quenching your thirst, you're also filling up on gas. This can lead to burping, bloating, and even discomfort as your stomach tries to get rid of the extra air. The next time you're super thirsty, grabbing a still water might be the better way to go. It keeps you hydrated without the bloat. Number 5. Fast Food versus Fast Eating and it's not just what you eat, but how you eat that can lead you to bloat city. Ever wolf down a meal in record time? Eating too fast means you're likely swallowing a lot of air along with your food. This air can puff up your stomach, making you feel bloated and uncomfortable right after a meal. Try to take it slow at your next meal, chew thoroughly, and let your body keep up with your bites. You'll likely notice you feel better and might even enjoy your food more when you take the time to savor it. Number 4. The Constipation Connection Got that heady, stuck feeling? 
Sometimes it's not just about what you eat, but how well it's moving for you. Constipation can turn your gut into a gas factory. Here's the scoop. When things slow down in your digestive tract, your stool hangs around too long. This gives the bacteria in your gut way too much time to ferment whatever's there, leading to more gas and that bloated feeling. Drinking more water, adding fiber gradually, and getting some exercise can really help keep things moving. Remember, a happy gut is a moving gut. Number 3. IBS and Gut Sensitivity Drama If you've got irritable bowel syndrome or just a sensitive gut, bloating can feel like your constant annoying companion. People with IBS often react more intensely to the gas produced by normal digestion. This can mean bloating, pain, and an unhappy tummy, especially after meals. Managing IBS often starts with diet identifying and avoiding your trigger foods can be a game changer. Sometimes it's about more than just choosing the right foods, it's about giving your gut the care it needs to keep your life as bloat-free as possible. Number 2. SIBO – Small Intestine Bacterial Overgrowth Ever felt like your belly is brewing up a storm for no reason? Well, it might not be no reason. There's something called SIBO small intestinal bacterial overgrowth that might be to blame. Normally, our small intestine doesn't have too many bacteria, but with SIBO, these little critters are partying too hard. They produce extra gas, which can leave you feeling like a balloon ready to pop. If you're dealing with chronic bloating and your usual tricks aren't working, it might be worth checking with your doc to see if SIBO is crashing the party in your gut. Number 1. FODMA PFOS Lastly, let's talk about a tricky group of foods known as FOD and APs. These are carbs that some folks find hard to digest. Foods like onions, apples, and milk can be tough on some tummies, leading to that all-too-familiar bloating. The trick is figuring out if these foods bug your belly. Trying a low FODMAP diet might just help you identify the sneaky culprits. Cut them out, then bring them back one by one. It's like a food detective game where you learn which foods are your friends and which ones are foes. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to beating the bloat. That wraps up our rundown of the top 10 triggers for gas and bloating. Got any tips or tricks that work for you? Share them in the comments below we'd love to hear what helps you keep the bloat at bay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful guides like this one. Let's keep our guts happy and our days comfortable.